On this episode of Big Booby Mouth Off, it's super hot outside, but Johnny Depp, he's cold as ice. And bald as ice. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Big Movie Mouth Off. I'm Jimmy Martin, your host. Hey, Jimmy. Hey. I'm Jeff Counts. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> it's Cotton's the back. Yeah. He never leaves here. It's nope. great. Same shirt. <laughs> <laughs> On this episode of Big Movie Mouth Off, we'll be reviewing The Maze Runner, The Scourge Trials. We'll be talking about video on demand with Xfinity because they're our partner. We're going to show them the love. Yep. And then right now we're going to talk about Black Mass. Uh, this is the latest film starring Johnny Depp as James Whitey Bulger. Let's take a look at the trailer. I need to know everything you know about the Winter Hill Gang, and specifically, what you know about your former boss and now fugitive, James Whitey Bulger. Well, let's start. In the beginning, Jim was a small town player. He's a very smart, disciplined man. Take your shot, but make it your best. Cause I get up, I eat you. I'm at the table, you can come and you. And the next thing you know, he's a damn kingpin. I'm at the shoulder. You know why? Because the FBI let it happen. I grew up with Jimmy and his brother Billy. The senator. And that is a bond that doesn't get broken. Your brother is waiting into some very dark waters. Jimmy's business is Jimmy's business. We all need friends. Even Jimmy. Even you. I can help you, Jimmy. And you can help me. It's an alliance. We get the FBI to fight our wars, and we do whatever we want to do. The success. Just getting started. Boom! I jump to the sky for my people. I walk through the sky. just playing this. Make a fool of the bureau. Tell me We're in too deep. And he knows it. Come around me telling me I changed. God help us. How come no one has nailed Whitey Bulger? He seems to be involved in every crime in the city, and yet the bureau keeps saying he's clean. Well, what's Bulger done? What's he done? Everything. I'm at the trash can, not the last man at the finish line now. You cannot say that to me. If he gives me his word, he will keep it. I don't care whatever way you look at it, his eyes freak me out yeah, he's, every time. He's He's got the menacing <laughs> stare down in this movie. He, he really does. Um, like the trailer said, it's the true story of James Whitey Bulger basically taking over Boston Yeah. Uh, because he was given a pass. And so why would you not use that pass? <laughs> so, yeah. The, the thing about this movie is, from the trailer, I walked in thinking we were kind of going to get a, a Scorsese film. It does look like that. It does. And it's not really what we got. No. And, um, you know... I, I want to start on a positive because Johnny Depp is terrifying in this movie. He's he, something about me. I've, I've talked about this about I say villains and even just characters in general. I love the villain that doesn't have to, you know, blow up the room with screaming and whatnot. Yeah. It's just it's it, that calm, cool, collected to, uh, style of villain, yeah. being criminal. Yeah, I think it's way more terrifying. He is definitely terrifying, but th it, it, your comment does lead me to one of my complaints with this film, which is that they go to the Whitey being crazy thing mm -hmm. too many times. Yep. They go to that well too many times. They establish it early on. We get it. Yeah. He's a crackpot. We get it. <laughs> but they do it so often, it kind of loses its punch after it a does. while. It does. I, I talked about this the other day with some friends. Yeah. We were talking about this film. Yeah. It does become repetitive. It does. I think that's like its yeah. biggest flaw is because I was like, I, I always say on the show, I make drinking games out of movies. Yeah. Every time someone gets shot inside the car, they could drink. Mm -hmm. Every time they say, let's go for a walk. Yep. And you're like... You're done. Yeah. Dead man walking right yeah. there. You know, even even just like 
the certain scenario of, you know, I'm not going to ruin characters, but, you know, hey, thanks for doing that big favor for me. You know, you know yeah. Yeah, dead. Yeah, exactly. Dead. It, it almost felt too predictable because yeah, it repeated itself too much. And then the other thing is, because the trailer makes it look really kind of action-packed. Yeah. It's not. It's, not, it's really slow. It's really <laughs> slow. Two hours and two minutes, and it feels a lot longer than it that does. to me. And I think that's because there's a lot of talking. Yeah, there and that's is. That's fine, you yeah. know, but it's got to be two hours of, you know, interesting dialogue, engaging dialogue. And this just doesn't have it. Yeah, there should have been more story. There should have been yeah. more. There should have been more. I don't mean action in terms of set pieces, but sure. more like movement towards a conclusion. Yeah. It felt very static. And when you've got an actor as great as Depp, you don't need to establish the character over no. and over again. No, you're. I mean, you're absolutely right. I mean, and Joel Edgerton. I don't want to take anything because he's good in it too. He's really good in but it. But again, every scene, I swear, every other scene he's in is him in the FBI office and slamming folders down yeah. and saying like, "You listen and you leave Whitey alone." Yeah. And I'm just like, you've done this four or five times now. They most <laughs> of the characters have one note and they keep on singing it. Yeah, and I think that's a problem with it. Obviously, yeah. People are talking about Oscar buzz for Depp, and I don't know if I see. Yeah, he's great. He's really good in it. And we're, we're just at the you know the front door of Oscar season. Yeah. And so could five people beat him? Possibly. Very possibly. It almost seems like a supporting level role. Could be. Almost. I mean, there's a lot of times where he disappears for a while, and that's where I got yeah. bored. You know, I'm like, bring yeah. back depth. That's the best part of this film. Yeah. There are some, also in this movie, if you're from Boston, there are some truly terrible renditions of the way you speak. <laughs> I just warn you about that now. <laughs> They're like, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Dap. No, yeah. I mean, it's not just him either. There's yeah. some terrible Kevin Bacon. Boston accents. Kevin Bacon lets it in and out. Cumberbatch? Oh, oh Cumberbatch. I don't know. Great actor, but great actor, but leave the Boston accent in the in the in the, in the dresser drawer. Absolutely. So where are you going with this? Um, I'm at about I keep going between two and a half and three. I'm I think I'll edge up a little bit and go three. I, I it's it's a little a week three, but that's where I'm gonna go. I'm two and a half, a strong two and a half. Okay, we're gonna we'll meet in the middle at two and three quarters. I was about just about that? to say that. Yeah. I was just about to say two and three quarters. So I, I can I can live with that. Not a horrible endeavor. No. Check it out for depth performance. You might see it come up a little bit in the Oscar season, but there you go. And so Black Mass, check it out. Like I said, maybe not immediately. Save some money. That's okay. Uh, but coming up next, we're going to be talking about Xfinity's video on demand services and what they have available in the month of September. So, ooh, that's called September. <laughs> Can't even talk right. It's coming up next. Say it in a Boston accent. September. There you go. <laughs>